do you really think that a, another man who um, wants to take away your right over your own body should be representing Colorado in Congress? We already have one notorious Republican in, in, in Congress. That is, speaking of which, that is another co competitive race in Colorado, is the Lauren Boebert seat. Are you too close? Please welcome to the stage the hardest working woman in snow business, which is what I call politics in Colorado. It's your Congresswoman, Representative Yadira Carabello. Hi. How are you? So nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Please welcome. You're a pediatrician by trade. As a doctor, any thoughts on Trump's recent comments about killing the Affordable Care Act? Uh, you know, before I thought that I was going to do something crazy like go into Congress, um, and I was in residency in New Mexico, one of the first things that I did when I joined a union um, was talk about the ACA and how incredibly important it was for safety net hospitals like the one that I was practicing in. So, I mean, if we want to go back to figuring out what your health insurance is when you're 18 or um, having to deal with pre-existing conditions or caps on um, your uh, care, then uh, uh, sure, but I didn't think this was a debate anymore. Yeah. Now, there are uh, two Republicans uh, vying to uh, uh, be your opponent. Both are anti-abortion zealots. Scott James wants to make fetuses legal persons under Colorado law, and Gabe Evans supports banning abortions with no exceptions for rape or incest. How popular do you think those positions are in Colorado's 8th District? You know, I think Boulder is a good judge of that, although there's probably more Democrats in this room than there are in parts of my district. Um, <laughs> But uh, clearly, given that the woman who ran against me last time supported the exact same issues, um, not very popular. Now, you're in uh, um, one of the most um, closely divided seats in Congress. Colorado, yes, but I mean in all of the country. You won your race by about 1,500 votes last time. Your seat is, is, is going to be one that Republicans are going to try to fight for. What's it going to take to keep the seat? Uh, money, for one. Uh, so if you are interested in donating, go to my website. Um, what is the website? Caraveo for uh, congress.com, C-A-R-A-V-E-O uh, for Congress. And um, uh, yeah, money, but really a lot of mobilization. So what we really concentrated on last time was it was a brand new district. A lot of people didn't know they lived in it. Um, largest Latino population in the state at 39%. Um, <laughs> Lowest turnout, however, in the state, um, and youngest district in the state. So it's really about going out and having those one-on-one -on -one conversations, having people knock doors, um, having the resources to do that, and being able to go on TV and say, do you really think that a, another man who um, wants to take away your right over your own body should be representing Colorado in Congress? We already have one notorious Republican in, in, in Congress. That is, speaking of which, that is another co competitive race in Colorado, is the Lauren Boebert seat. Are you too close? You know, I do like to freak my uh, staff out by telling them I talked to Lauren today. Um, but no, we're, sadly we're not. Um, did uh, you give your credit card information to George Santos? <laughs> It's okay, there's nothing, I think it's important that people not, you know, like people shouldn't, that's nothing to be ashamed of if it happened. It's you his know, fault, not your fault. our information gets hacked in uh, Congress so often that like, luckily we're set up with alerts, so I think I would have known if he had stolen my credit card information. Okay, good, <laughs> all right, that's good to know. Dr. Caraveo, as someone with extremely reasonable views on deeply personal matters like abortion, birth control, and healthcare at large, you've had to dangle with Republicans who want to wag their fingers and say, uh-uh-uh, not, not without us getting in your doctor's office, you know? And your, you know, your stuff. That's what the little kids in clinic yeah. called it, too. <laughs> Which is why it's time for a game about extreme Republicans in, in Congress, in the House, that we're calling Rocky Mountain High Aye Aye. And I just, I want people at home to know that the, 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 <laughs> the graphic was made before I changed the name, <laughs> which is why it says Republicans to the extreme. And as Marjorie Taylor Greene on a skateboard. Uh, which one of your potential Republican opponents is on the record as being against exceptions to rape and incest when it comes to abortion rights? Both, I think. Yes, that's correct. 
Another of your potential opponents called the 2021 Reproductive Health Equity Act, which was an attempt to enshrine abortion access into the state constitution as horrible. Which one of these freaks said that? Ooh, I think that was Gabe Evans. It was Scott James. <sighs> so close. So close. <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> which, one of your, which one of your opponents tried to introduce a sanctity of life resolution to the Weld County Commission in an effort to block abortion access by establishing fetuses as people under the Colorado Constitution? That was Scott James. That was Scott James. <laughs> one of your opponents commented in September that overturning Roe v. Wade was only the beginning of restricting abortion access in America, saying, you know, so the pro-life movement has been working for the last 50 years to try to have this issue overturned and returned to the states. We've seen a lot of success there, and I don't really see any reason to reverse course on the success that the pro-life movement is having. Which anti-abortion extremist said that? Gosh, it could be either one of them. I'm gonna go with Scott James again. That one was Gabe Evans. I think there's no way to tell the difference. There is no way to tell the difference. <laughs> Except one of them is younger. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> Beloved gay icon, George Santos. <laughs> went on record saying he would vote for a national abortion ban because he was in, and was in favor of denying abortions to survivors of sexual assault unless they had proven police documentation. He doubled down on those components comparing abortion to what historic crime? I don't even want to guess, honestly. It was slavery. It was slavery. Marjorie Taylor Greene once called fellow Congresswoman Nancy Mace, herself a Republican, what for believing abortion bans except for uh, in cases, for believing in exceptions, just for believing in exceptions for rape and incest? A Democrat. She called her trash. trash. <laughs> just for believing, potentially believing in exceptions. In late November, Donald Trump wrote on True Social that he was seriously looking at alternatives to replace what? The ACA. That's right. And finally, in another post that concluded with Obamacare sucks, Trump insisted that his aim was not simply to terminate Obamacare, but to replace it with a much better health care. What is the alternative Republican health care proposal? Well, I think they've been debating that since the ACA came out. That's so. exactly right. They don't have one. Even South Dakota Republican Mike Rounds admitted that we most certainly can do a better job, but it would require us to start proposing what the change would be. Unbelievable. Uh, for people listening at home, what is the best thing people what is the best thing people in Colorado can do, and what is the best thing people listening at home can do? Uh, you know, the the road to making sure that we take back the house runs directly through Colorado, not just the third. It would be nice to get rid of Lauren, right? Um, <laughs> But we know that we can win the eighth. Um, and so people have to get out and knock on doors. They've got to make phone calls. They've got to make donations. Last time, the entire race cost about $20 million. Um, we're expecting it to be way dollars? more than that. $20 million uh, for the seat. And they've already spent six figures in ads against me um, in the district. And so um, sadly, it's money. And uh, you can go to votesaveamerica.com uh, uh, to get involved. Uh, one last question, which is, you have an amazing story. Um, I, you became a doctor, which was not an easy thing to do. You've, you've become a congressperson. Can you just talk a little bit about what it took to get there um, and why, like, look, obviously people will want to get behind you. You're a pro-abortion rights, pro-healthcare, pro-democracy congressperson. But I do think the experiences of the people who represent us matter. So you can just give people just a little bit about like, what it took for you to get to Congress and why that experience is important. Uh, well, you know, first it took my parents. They came here in the 70s from Mexico because they knew that they were going to be able to provide their kids uh, with a better life. Focused on education um, since um, I was little. Um, and so I decided when I was three that it was time to go to Head Start um, and that I was going to be a doctor. Um, decided, <laughs> yes. Uh, decided um, to go into pediatrics um, and then got incredibly frustrated with the fact that I couldn't fix the things that I thought that I was going to fix when I went into medicine. Um, whether I was talking about homelessness with kids and just giving them a letter of, with shelters names on there or arguing with um, healthcare companies because I thought that I knew better after seven years of um, you know, training to, in pediatrics uh, to decide what a child's treatment um, should be, um, but they thought their, their checklist uh, was better. Um, and so I decided to um, after actually a, a very long um, and uh, 
heated argument with a health insurance company where I slammed the phone down and people had been asking me to run for office for a little bit um, to, that I was going to do it. It takes about seven times of asking a, a woman to run for office and that's about how many times it took for me. You want to learn more, go to, what was the website? CaraveoforCongress.com. And you can also, and we'll be keeping up with this campaign at Vote Save America as well. Thank you so much for being here, Congressman Caraveo. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you very much. Really nice to meet you.